joining with us is Professor D. Chennappa sir, who is a former chief model, uh, chief warden, and a former vice principal and a principal of uh, Commerce Department. So, sir, firstly, congratulations on receiving the uh, receiving the State Best Teacher Award. How does it feel to receive this prestigious award, sir? It is a great honor and privilege to receive the State Level Best Teacher Award. Uh, this award has not come just like that. I have been applied. At the third time, I got this award. First time also I applied. Uh, uh, then the, some of the points, they stated that uh, certain uh, points not scored it. Uh, then again, I concentrated. Again, second time also I applied it. Again, they mentioned that uh, the corporate uh, life is not there. Then again, I concentrated. Third time, they mentioned that uh, like account, uh, <coughs> consultancy services is not there. That the third time, I overcome this consultancy services where I collaborated with the Enadu. I am a regular uh, writer to the Unadu columnist for it. Then uh, based upon all criteria, uh, I got this uh, best uh, state level teacher award. I feel very proud uh, by <coughs> getting it uh, from uh, coming from to the far of the districts and uh, coming to the very uh, unknown uh, areas. And it is a very great uh, prestigious uh, to the even the institution as well as to the university also. And uh, research, this particular research seems to be your forte, sir, but uh, could you elaborate on your research? Yeah, this is, uh, I've been working in this university since 27 years, uh, except to three years, uh, 23 years I've been to constantly on to the research work. As a being a university teacher, so not only confined to, I can do the research, not like that. We have to supervise the scholars. Under me, there are eight uh, scholars being awarded. And I got good number of publications and more than 100 citations how I got it. Now the great satisfaction to the guiding the students who are coming from very rural area and they are unable to write even certain languages also for them, taking into our hands and guiding them, properly guiding. And I have seen that they have been awarded. And with the interaction with that students, I got very great satisfaction. Because of awarding the well-known students and awarding to the highly qualified students, it is not a matter for it. Who has deserving and who has uh, having the uh, inquisitiveness, curiosity is there for them. I helped them to get the doctorate. And the great happiness is that all eight candidates are working under the government degree college lecturers as assistant professors. That is a great satisfaction I got it to guide them. And apart from that, uh, we have to do our own research. While doing a research, I got the good number of UGC projects and ICHR projects. And not only that, in the year 2014 and 16, I am a UGC research awardee. When the entire uh, state uh, or entire nation, very few, they will award for only 12 teachers. Out of the 12, I am also one of them. Therefore, from getting that uh, UGC research awardee, also I felt very happy. Getting the UGC research award and guiding the upcoming scholars and doing my own research and getting about more than 100 citations in a reputation journal, that could be made me to get the best teacher award. Right. Then that I feel very happy and proud the moment to getting the honor, the recognition to us. And uh, one side is a recognition to getting the award and another side is also there. Once uh, as a teacher definitely among the best teacher definitely will be recognized, award is given. Uh, not like that, the ending the uh, receiving the award. Again, it is my uh, started my own career after the 27th right. year. Again, it has increased the more responsibility to uh, give the good output to uh, my own students right. in the form of the teaching as well as in the form of the research. So, what exactly motivated uh, you to do this research, go for that research, sir? Uh, since the beginning, I have a habit of uh, doing uh, research, innovative activities I will take up. Uh, when uh, I'm in uh, even administration also, I took up the innovative activities. I want to publish in uh, repeated journals. Uh, without noticing that, I'm going to get the best teacher award. I'm going to get the UGC, UGC research award or ICSR fellowship or projects. I have a habit of doing a research. I started when I joined into the university. Then immediately I started the good journal, Economic Political Weekly. It is a very famous one. Uh, and then uh, started to publication into the international journals and started to publishing into the Scopus listed journals. That the quality journals, I have, that's the uh, interest I have. Therefore, uh, that may be made to do the continuous research. And uh, as I stated that I applied for three times, I never lost my hopes. I never gave up any 
my desire is to get the best teacher award the continuity research means it is a continuous effort there's a continuous effort to made me to go, do the continuous uh, research okay. and the research should be do in continuous manner suppose if you give the some breaks here and there is if you break up like even the sleeping also if you sleep at random 8 hours you have to sleep or 6 hours you have to sleep if you break up the sleeping again you may not be get any happiness you cannot get uh, full sleep about like this it is a research is also same thing you have to continuously you have to do it suppose if you give break up again you have to start with the alphabets a b c d though you have reached to the x s t again you have to come back therefore i am a continuity i have been doing continuously that made me to this award so uh, you as you have explained previously you have done a lot in the in your teaching career and uh, research so apart from that what uh, have you done in the administrative department also you have mentioned previously about that mm-hmm. can you ela- elaborate uh, on that also sir yeah then uh, initially when i joined in the university service i assigned as a warden then i was assigned as a vice principal then the coordinator for many self finance courses then the apart from that the bigger where i got good satisfaction to so serving as a chief warden for more than uh, two and a half years <coughs> when i was a chief warden is there uh, i introduced the online hostel admission system which was not there lot of confusion among the students where to get the application form where to pay the money how much we have to pay the money and lot of confusion among the even the principals and university also i made it a one simple on click they can apply the online applications not only that i also introduced to the online payment system for to the employees okay. there are three categories of employees who work under the university categories regular employees time scale employees and outsourcing employees for outsourcing employees they don't have any nominal role and they don't, don't have <coughs> any records for that i developed the records and i made it all bank account payment and i provided even health cards for them that uh, and i solved the all the students problem that uh, where i got very good uh, satisfaction among them then i worked as a principal university pg college secunderabad for about one year <coughs> where i worked as a pg college secunderabad principal i also little bit uh, made certain contribution like that i introduced the biometric uh, attendance system to the students and uh, i u- used to develop to the this uh, a group sms facilities mm-hmm. to the students as well as to their parents and we started the conducting the internal assessments and uh, sometimes we conducted a unit test whatever the test we conducted that whatever the outcome has come at about 10 marks 2 marks or 3 marks option all information we sent to the parents out of the one year the two factors has emerged is one is the students attendance into the classroom has increased and happy to say that the admission also increased under the pg college secunderabad ug admissions so drastically increased because of this efforts and the existing principals they are continuing which steps which uh, initiations i have taken it so that is giving good results to the students and the students were also very very happy under my tenure as a principal so uh, you <coughs> mentioned about your research or previously you say you mentioned about uh, talking to the enadu and several other organizations so what were the major influences in your uh, in shaping your career and your personality doing the research is uh, and uh, selecting the areas uh, top most important for a teacher i have selected uh, this is a case about the insurance where i am writing a paper on to the research paper or i am writing a paper as a columnist i am writing as a finance personal finance but all the subject is a uh, insurance hmm. this is uh, insurance is uh, you see the, we can reach the unreached people where they are into great uh, critical under to the financial losses so that made me to communicate create awareness among to the people and to the personal finance through the insurance so now the insurance is available at cheaper cost it over different different modes therefore i want to create the awareness for that creating awareness i have taken a platform like in our paper and uh, writing to the some other papers and giving to the some interviews and answering the questions which are raised by the uh, the customers sometimes they are calling me under the consultancy services and we are addressing the only one focused area is insurance still recently right. i got published one book there is on to the public health right which is a very famous book uh, when i made a comparison between to the the uh, in usa and india where obama health care in usa where every patient is free of cost treated 
But in India, there are so many schemes are there not treated properly. Why it is there? What steps the government has to take? Likewise, so the either write I will uh, paper or columnist or uh, interview or consultancy are writing a book, mostly right. focused on to insurance. Yes. So that's our my core area. This yes. is made me to continuously do the research work yes. on to the insurance. Hmm. So uh, you have talked about uh, the major influences now and. Uh, you have talked about how uh, you have elaborated on your research as well. So what future do you see uh, for your domain that is commerce? Commerce is having great future. The entire uh, commerce is like a blood, like human body in the economy. The particularly insurance is uh, one of the areas hmm. where it uh, major contributed to the Indian economy. Around 50% uh, of uh, GDP where it is coming from the savings. Uh, therefore, then uh, not only insurance, so we have the computer papers, we have the accounting paper, core papers like costing, accounting, taxation. So, commerce is having very great future in coming days. Mostly, is not only looking at the core papers, it is uh, providing employment opportunities, huge employment opportunities. As I told you that my eight PhD scholars got uh, employed under public sector undertaking as a assistant professor in government degree colleges and many more are completed as CA, chartered accountants, company secretaries and many more appointed in, in foreign companies like uh, Cognizant and Amazon, Flipkart. There is a huge employment opportunities are there as well as to the future is also there. They, can, they want to go to the public sector undertaking, they can go, they want to go to the private sector undertaking also, they can go. Therefore, commerce is having very good, great future in coming days. Only thing is there, we have to update like uh, very recently GST has come up and GST with the computers and any new topics will come, we will definitely include in our curriculum to give the best knowledge to the students and which is addressing to the employment. So now that you have elaborated on your research and uh, also you have you mentioned that there is a great future for the commerce students. So what message uh, would you want to give to the young researchers out there, sir? Now the researcher has to concentrate on research as well as teacher has to concentrate on teaching. Teachers should not be divert his teaching. Now the most of the teachers, uh, they took the platform for non-teaching activities and uh, most of the time they spend the entire life into the administration. Mm -hmm. Instead of spending administration in non-teaching activities, I request to them, I give some message to them, they have to concentrate on teaching around 60 percentage, again 40 percentage they have to concentrate to research. When they do the research, so the research means just like that they are simply I can mention that updating their knowledge, updating about their domain knowledge. And just like you are teaching age old test books, no, no one will listen now. Therefore, you have to update. To update it, this is a platform is a research. If the 40 percentage research in the given time, 60 percentage teaching is a definitely the outcome, they can reach the students. The my message is there, we have to reach the students. We have to see the welfare of the students, where the great missing from to the particular university stages, teachers are thinking different way, students are coming from different way, right. their level of understandings are different and teachers' expectations are different, mismatching and disconnected. There is no connectivity between to the student as well as to the teacher. Therefore, the teachers, they feel the, and students should also feel that every teacher is thinking about themselves. If they start thinking and teachers also reaching in that more, uh, definitely there is a connection between to the teacher and the students. We have to build that. Mm -hmm. If we then build it, uh, definitely they will come to the classes, they will listen us, they can learn something, they can take home to some new knowledge. Otherwise, just what they are coming, what they are going out from to the university, that should not happen. Again, as a teacher, nowadays um, they should not go for the only number game for publication here and there, local vernacular papers. They have to concentrate for to the Scopus Listed Journal, now the UGC had made it as a care, under the care they have recognized certain journals, under there they have to publish. And where the citations are there, in the citations the journals, under that they, these people should send the papers and they have to publish a paper. Once the citation is referred into the Google Scholars format, that might be seen by the entire world. If they might be seen to the entire world, at the time they will ask who is Professor Chennappa. The answer is from Usman University, from Telangana state. Right. And if the global level again they took up, they will think at the global level. Therefore, these are the made, uh, the making points to get the universities high ranked, 
and as well as to state is also high ranked under the higher education index. Therefore, teachers have to concentrate for teaching must, and they have to concentrate for to the research must, they should not be deviated. Again, yeah. coming to the research scholars who are initially they have the very much curiosity to do the research work with a very curiosity, very interesting to get the JRF and fellowship. Once they admitted into the research, the what was the motive is that they will put aside, again they will take up the new objective, how to earn money, how to survive it, how to get my personal financial benefits. That should not be there. How to get the personal financial benefit means they will look for to the like part-time jobs. They will look for to the way they paid some small assignments. They should not uh, do that. They have to concentrate the universities or uh, the university research apex bodies. They are funding them to do the research work. Rather doing the research, they are deviating to earn the money. So earning money and uh, study, both cannot go into one uh, swatch. Therefore, I want to say that the research scholar responsibility, if he wants to do serious research, then only he has to take the platform to join into the university research activities. Otherwise, you can earn the money. Earning money is a, so much of avenues are available. Just to not coming to the university, just to spending time, wasting up five years without taking out quality research output, just to taking the degree. The, the PhD degree should not become an ornament. If we feel same that the PhD holder is still unemployed, that is the day. Therefore, we want to rewrite it. We want to say that the serious researchers, we want to say that. Of course, whatever the lacunas are there, we are here to guide you. Right. The friendly research supervisors are available in entire Usmani University. Mm -hmm. the, as a professor, what I am looking from to these scholars, how is committed, how is loyal, how is sincerity for his research work. Nothing else we will look into that. If really is a sincerely contributing to the research work, we are there to help them. We will see them, he can make it as a better career than many among many others. So therefore, okay. researcher, research, he has to there to the research, teacher has to teach as well as to guide the students. If the, these things will go hand in hand. Uh, definitely university will get good name and fame as well as, as a teacher I will get greater satisfaction, as a scholar he will also learn many things and immediately he is being employed in good companies where he wants it. Yes sir, thank you so much for joining us today on this interview and once again congratulations on receiving the State Best Teacher Award sir. Really, I thank the MCA department, uh, particularly coming out and taking time and a lot of uh, efforts and uh, bringing the technological people and the entire team, really, I thank, and particularly who has coordinated Ramamurthy, then uh, your head, uh, Professor uh, Stevenson and all other people, really, I thank to the people and the whole, I really thank to the university for providing the good platform to emerge so as a best teacher. So this was Professor D. Chenapa sir, who is a former principal of Commerce College, uh, who joined us today on this interview.